what's going on guys it's been exactly two weeks since I last put a video out and based on my inbox and in my comments on my videos a lot of you have been wondering where the hell have you been so to give you the short answer I've been on vacation I went to Puerto Rico for 10 days I got back on midnight on Thursday yesterday Friday I took us a workout day I had my training session with my trainer and I also went through my inbox to check out what you guys were commenting on so those of you that have gotten a direct response from me because your question was a one-off but I also saw some topics in there that more than one of you had a question about. So I wrote them down. The first is going to be motivation, how to stay on track, and also a lot of you guys have been asking me, and I've been trying to avoid this topic as to what's going on with me not showing up in any more Swifty IRL videos. So I'll give you guys at least a brief overview on that. I really don't want to bash anybody or go into details regarding the situation, but I'm going to touch also on that. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some pictures of my Puerto Rico trip. Lastly, and this is something that for me is very critical, um, this channel primarily, even though I'm the one that's doing it, is for you guys. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, this, this channel anyway. So what I want you guys to give me insight on is what are some things you'd like me to cover? What are some things you'd like me to see do? What are some maybe skits you want me to do? Because at the end of the day, it's no different than TV. If it's not the entertainment that you want, you're just not going to watch it. And I want to make sure that if you guys enjoy having me here, I also want you guys to enjoy having me here. So um, let's start off with the first topic, which is motivation. A lot of you guys wanted to know how do I stay motivated and also how do I stay on track? And basically, this is one and the same. I can answer both of these topics in the same set in, in the uh, in the same answer because they are intertwined. Let's start with motivation. How do I gain motivation? How do I stay motivated? Well, this is very simple. I start off with a goal in mind, meaning something that I truly and really want. If it's you, for example, it could be a myriad of different things. It could be going from a used car to buying a brand new car, going from an apartment to getting a, a house. Um, you're starting in college and you want to end up with straight A's. If you're working, what you have to basically do at work to earn X amount of income. Basically, that's how you start your motivation because you want to end up with something that you truly want. It could even be a trip. You may want to go do backpacking in Europe. You may want to go scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef. You may want to go see Pina Coladas in Tahiti. Whatever it is for you, you have to basically keep that image vivid, something that you really, really, truly want. And that lets you know where you're at, your point A, where your starting point is, and also your point B, where you want to end up at. And then all you have to figure out is basically the stuff in between, what you have to do to get from where you're at currently right now to where you want to get to in X amount of time. So let me give you guys a personal example for me, at least when I was doing financial advising, as to some of the things that I had to do in order for me to reach my goals. And financial advising is basically a numbers game and it's based on income. You also get compensated based on the financial products that you either sell to your clients or the financial advice that you give your clients or what's something, sometimes called the fee-based uh, assets that you have your clients involved in. So based on that, you know that for X amount of money that I have from a client and I'm managing it, I'm going to earn this much money per year. And based on that number, you can say, okay, if I, if I bring in... 10, 20 million dollars and I'm earning X percentage of money on it, I split this 50-50 with a company, I'm gonna end up with this much per year. For example, for me, I wanted to have a six-figure salary by my second year in the business. So I had to work backwards from a simple $100,000 in my pocket as to what I had to produce. So obviously I'm not going to look at this thing from in a year I have to bring in X amount of dollars. I would break that down into annually what I have to have. Let's say the number is 20 million. And then from 20 million I say, okay, so that means that every quarter, every six months, and every month I have to do this much production. And once I get my monthly number, then I would take that number, break it down into weeks, and that would break it down into daily performance. And that would break it down into exactly what I had to do, how many phone calls I had to do, how many people I had to meet, how many appointments I had to set, how many of those appointments I had to close, how, much, how many dollars I had to close per appointment that I closed. And then that would basically yield me and make sure that it got me to my goal. Now, these are fictitious numbers. These are basically what I think I can accomplish realistically. And then you have to hold yourself accountable to those numbers in doing whatever you have to do. When you don't want to work, you have to go back to your motivation, which is basically, oh yeah, I want to get that trip to Tahiti. I want to go to the Great Barrier Reef. I want to get that house. I want to get that car. 
whatever it is, and that basically motivates you in those days that you're slouching and you really don't want to do what you have to do to say, oh yeah, I'm doing this because of this reason, even though I hate doing this, but I have to. So that's basically how you go about in the motivation process as well as how to stay on track. It's nothing more than a business plan for your personal life. So you have to start off by understanding the end results and then break that down into slivers so that you don't become overwhelmed. You also have to make these things realistic. You cannot have these goals that are going to be unreachable within the timetable that you're giving yourself. Some of them might be even impossible because that then just causes frustration and you don't want to be frustrated. You want to have little successes little by little because that basically makes you more aggressive, makes you more confident, it makes you more sure about yourself. It just does a wonderful thing for you as far as being successful, not only in life, in your business, but also in your personal life. You, you become a happier person, you're more giddy, you're more yourself, and people notice that. And then what happens is that people get drawn to you. So it's it's just a, a catalyst of events that happen when you are able to reach these goals and you feel good about yourself. So make sure that when you do these things, make sure they're attainable, they're reachable, and you have a real business plan that you can definitely follow to make sure that you do reach those goals. Now, I'm gonna show you guys that I, I still have it unpacked from my Puerto Rico trip. So my bag is, is still there, it's still there unpacked. So I have to get that done. So I've been procrastinating on that. But I show you that because um, I want to tie it with the pictures that I'm gonna show all of you, like I said earlier. And I'm also gonna talk over a couple of them because some of these pictures, I hadn't, these places I hadn't visited before. And my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, was kind enough to show me around and we just had a blast. I took my girlfriend Brandy, so I'll show you guys some pictures of that as well. Now, regarding the Swifty and the Swifty IRL videos, I have gotten, God knows how many emails regarding that. I've even received some comments in some of my videos regarding that. So I figured that it's, it's at least owed to you guys that I give you some kind of explanation as to what's been going on. I'll make it short because I really don't want to go into a rant about anything, but as of June 30th, Swifty and I, or John and I, are no longer fit, uh, affiliated in any way, shape, or form, whether it's we, where we're friends or we're business partners, that just is right now does not exist. I don't have, I, I really don't feel comfortable going into the reasons as to why it is because I don't want to bash Swifty, but it was a situation that John wasn't aware of and the decision that he chose to do at the time basically has caused or at least cost for me several problems within my relationship because it involved an ex relationship of mine. So even though Swifty does these things in fun and everything else, he sometimes doesn't think things through or the consequences that may have or doesn't even ask you what, you know, about the situation. So he sometimes create things out of fun, but for me, when it causes a problem, I take a big issue with it. So that's basically all I'm gonna talk about that. So to answer your question, I won't be showing up in any more Swifty IRL videos. Uh, at, at this point, I don't know if it'll happen in the future. It'll something that time will tell. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on what I need to focus on, which is myself, my career, and everything else. I'm working, I don't know if I told you guys, but I just got picked up by Wyndham. I start working with them the 1st of September as a consultant for them. That's gonna be a very nice job that I'm gonna have. Very cushy, nice pay. And I also have a friend of mine that wanted me to hang one of my licenses with them so we can do some transactions together, which that also will be a nice income for me. So now that I've given you guys the update, I've given you guys as to why I haven't made videos before, I've covered your topics, I've given you the, the reason behind the Swifty IRL situation, um, I'm going to show you guys some of these Puerto Rico pictures. So I hope you all enjoy it. And hopefully this will encourage some of you that are able or have been wondering to go out to the island and check it out. So until then, hope you guys enjoy and take care.